Hi everyone, I'm back again. My name is Diz Lee from DizLeeLandia.com and today I'm introducing a video of something that is really awesome. I really love this marionette. So everyone loves Toy Story. So Toy Story was an amazing uh, movie in its time, revolutionized CGI, got the whole thing kick-started. Um, some claim it was the death of uh, hand-drawn animation, but we can get into that another time. But what it did do is it created characters that are just awesome and timeless. So especially Woody and Buzz Lightyear. What I'm focusing on today, as you can tell from the hat again, is Woody. So I have a few different marionettes of Woody. So if you remember in Toy Story 2, what they had there was the idea that Woody was from an old television program in the 50s. And he was a marionette, basically, in those, in those shows. And so these things I'm going to show you now are marionettes, and they're supposed to come from that time period. So I'll show you the first one here. Now this isn't what the video is about, but I just wanted to show you another version of what I have. Sorry that the writing's uh, reversed, but this is a, a nice marionette, and I've kept it in the box. It's actually a set of three. So you have Woody, which is uh, what I have, and then also we have Bullseye. Okay, and it comes with a stand, as you can see here, so you can hang them on the stand and then you can play them if you want, if you take them out of the box, which I'm never going to do. And this is Woody, this is Bullseye on the back. Now, if you get really up close here, you can see down here, there is Jessie. So she's the third of the set, and she's the one I can't find. I don't know, even on eBay, I can't seem to find her. But as a collector, as you know, if you're a collector too, the fun is in the hunt. I will find her one of these days. But what this video was about is actually a marionette that was released as an exclusive at a D23 event. Now, I wasn't able to attend the event, but I had some friends that were. So I texted them. I begged them, please get me one of these because they were limited release. There weren't very many made. And if you want to see more details about that, you can go to the www.disneylandia.com and you can look at the companion post for this video. A link to it will be uh, in the description for this video okay so you can go back there and get all the all the details so this video is simply to show you the marionette working okay so it's like a companion to the actual post so this is what we're going to be showing in the video okay so sorry for the reflections of my other toys in the background there but you can see it looks like he's in a, a television okay so it's called bud tone television set and from the 50s and this is supposed to depict the show itself as it would have appeared on a television in the 1950s. So basically this is, what this uh, box does is it becomes a, a marionette theater. So you can actually play uh, with the marionette as if it was on the television. So there's the side to side slider. You can move uh, Woody back and forth. It's very crude. There's not a whole lot of movement to it. Uh, you'll see in the video. And then you can come back around and obviously you just move him up and down and, and he moves like that with the controller here in the top. Okay, so this also opens up and I'll have, there's a lot more pictures of the entire box and how it works in the actual post, the companion post, and uh, there'll be a lot more details about that there. So this is what the video is about. So what you're going to see now is me basically playing with it. Now there's not going to be any music with this and there's not a whole lot of sound to it, so I will do a little bit of narration over it. And why I haven't put any uh, Toy Story uh, movie music in there is because of YouTube copyright and they will flag my video. So I can't do that. So I'm not going to. So basically what you're going to see is just me basically doing about 30 seconds of just moving them around, showing you the different things you can do. And then I'll let you know, um, you'll see my hand come in a couple of times and I'll give you in the voiceover narration why I had to do that. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So again, thank you partners for being with me. Enjoy the video and please go over to www.disneylandia.com. It's a place where, you know, it's a, I call it the happiest collection on the internet. And, and it really is. I have over almost uh, 850 different posts of all kinds of IPs from Disney to other things as well. A lot of Toy Story stuff if you're into that, if you're into Pixar, a lot of collectibles from there. And uh, including this hat, you know, give you, there's a post there about this hat. And you'll be able to see all the different things that I have. I really love Disney. I love all IPs, really. I do a lot of collecting, and so I have a lot of stuff over there. So you'll enjoy it. And again, if you really are interested in this particular product, this particular marionette and the exclusive, all of the information will be over in that other video. So you'll see that link appear uh, in the comments below. Okay, so thank you very much, 
and enjoy the rest of the video. And here we go. So notice the only thing you can move is the arms, okay, from side to side. You can also move Woody from the left to the right. And that's basically the entirety of the animation possible with this marionette. So you notice the box is moving. So periodically, you have to stabilize the box, which makes it a little bit hard if you're using your right hand to move the arms, your left hand to move the side-to-side -side motion. You need another hand to stabilize the box. So here's my hand coming in, left hand, because I was going to move it back and forth. I had to stop moving the arms to do that. See, it's bouncing around again. There's my hand again to stabilize. So that's what I was talking about earlier. A little challenging, not much movement, but still a lot of fun.